Hello everybody, welcome to the video. So this video is particularly for all the CSIR net aspirants out there. You all might have, you know, researched about the advantages and the good side of CSIR net preparation for sure. And you all know how is it that you have to prepare to, uh, you know, excel in the examination. But today I'm here to talk the dark side of CSIR preparation and also how to avoid this as well. So today in this video, we're going to see the dark reality of CSIR net preparation and also how to avoid them. I'm Dr. Vaishali, academic specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space that, that guides you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. Come, let's explore the topic. So let's start with the introduction, right? So first of all, this particular examination, as you all know, is for research as well as for teaching position, that is JRS, uh, JRF and for LS position as well. And this particular examination, CSIR net, is conducted to select the best and the brightest students in the research side of in our country, right? So that's the reason we, uh, you know, we also write and the exams also conducted. So this particular examination is uh, very is very competitive, definitely all of us know, and there is a pressure to succeed from everybody and from within ourselves as well. But this particular pressure, although a little bit pressure is definitely good, but if it exceeds the you know threshold, then you might have to face some negative consequences as well, right? Now, what is that dark reality or what is that negative consequences that we're talking about? The first is the pressure to perform well. This pressure that comes from everybody and from within as well as a student, that particular pressure is going to lead you to unhealthy habits and behaviors, right? So you're going to extend your study time and then this is going to put a pressure in your health as well. And because this particular exam has a cutthroat atmosphere, right? It's a cutthroat competition uh, examination. And because of this, you might become a different person altogether, right? You might, uh, you know, become more engaged in yourself and then you might, and because it's a competition, you might not want to help your friends as well in that you might lose, you know, few relationships that are, you know, definitely, uh, you know, good for you. You might end up losing them in this cutthroat atmosphere. So that's the dark reality that I wanted to talk about. Third, we're going to see how this particular dark side of CSIR net impacts the student, right? So firstly, it's going to create a very high level of stress and anxiety. So as a student, uh, as a CSIR net aspirant, you might be, uh, you know, preparing for this exam uh, from quite some time and this is going to lead to a lot of stress and anxiety because there is pressure as well so the stress and anxiety is going to impact you uh, you know in a negative way a little bit of stress is definitely needed for any examination or even any task that you do in life but if it exceeds a particular amount if you're over stressing yourself then it's going to impact your life it's going to impact your health it's it will affect both your mental as well as your physical health right so mental health because obviously because of stress and this stress will also impact your physical health. And apart from that, because you're studying all day long, your physical health is also going to go for a toss. So yes, the impact on students is going to have a high level of stress and anxiety. And at times you might have low self-esteem as well, because if you're a student who has taken a year back to prepare for this particular examination, and you see that you know, all of your peers or, you know, people who you had studied with in your MSc have uh, gone ahead for their, uh, you know, for the studies or even for their job, then you might feel a little, uh, you know, lower in self-esteem about yourself. And not just that, even the stress and anxiety is going to, you know, have 
create a low self esteem about yourself so this is the you know kind of impact that a student might face and the fourth point that i wanted to talk about is the impact on the family right so it's not just so this particular journey is not just yours right as a student but also of your family because your family is the one your family and your friends are the ones who are going to support you uh, in this particular journey so what is the impact that we can see on the family first a strain on family relationships because you uh, you know there'll be a lot of sacrifices that's made from the parents or from your uh, family side so the relationship might go for you know might it might strain the uh, you know relationship because one you might not have enough time or you might be like really stressed and then you take it out on your parents so all of this is going to affect the family relationships second parents may put pressure on the students for excelling in this particular examination and this pressure might build up on the student as well and it might cause stress and anxiety in the student the third is about the sacrifices that as a parent and as a family they make for you know accommodating the preparation time and preparation space for the kid or for you as a student so that's also another impact that the family has when they are you know having a csir net aspirant now we have seen what is the dark side of this particular examination now we are going to see how to tackle it and how to avoid them or how to overcome these dark sides because obviously when there's a will when there's a will there's definitely a way so yes if you're if you have the will power to uh, excel in this examination there's definitely a way for you to tackle and avoid these dark realities in your preparation and that's very important for you to take care right so yes the fifth point is how to avoid these negative consequences right so the first is set realistic goals so we all know that during this particular preparation what you do first and foremost is after seeing the syllabus and the you know a uh, type of questions being asked the ne next very step that you do is create a schedule for yourself right and when you create this particular schedule make sure that you have you set realistic goals for yourself right if you are setting very impractical goals like you'll complete one full unit in one day then you know such unrealistic goals is going to put more pressure on yourself and you you might at the end of the day you might feel that you will not be able to complete you you were not able to complete that particular unit and that creates more stress and you will have more self esteem about yourself right so it's very important for you to set realistic goals and also secondly practice self care right so you need to take care of yourself as well apart from the pressure that you have on the studies and apart from all the studies that you do in a day it's important for you to take care of yourself as well uh, take care of your mental as well as your physical health you need to have a healthy lifestyle right healthy lifestyle as in you you have to get enough sleep you need to also do physical exercise you need to exert yourself because or else it's going to have an effect on your physical as well as your mental health as well because sleeping and exercising so all of these are going to remove the toxins from your body and removing these toxins from your body is necessary for you to have a healthy brain and for you to have a productive day so it's important for you to maintain that healthy lifestyle and this healthy lifestyle also includes the you know proper eating habits like firstly the proper timing uh, whenever you eat and secondly what you eat right so when you eat and what you eat that is also very important so make sure that you have healthy food habits as well along with the sleep and the exercise that you must get so uh it's also uh, good for you to include a few hobbies or you know a uh, few breaks in between your schedule as well so that you don't get the you know you don't get hit by the monotony of the studies so do include a few of the hobbies or you know what you want to do during the break 
have your me time as well. So that's also very important because only after that you get reju rejuvenated and then you can come up and start your next session very effectively. Right. And during all of this, seek support from friends and family because be it your mental stress or your physical health or even in your studies you can you need to take support from your friends and your family if at all you're facing any issues right to not hesitate to do this right so this is how you avoid the negative consequences that we've been talking about all this while right the sixth point that i wanted to talk to you about is the importance of balance right although yes studies is definitely important and that is the reason you are if that is your dream then yes it is definitely important but for you to study well and for you to excel in the examination you should also you know take care of yourself and that is how you balance your life right you need to set limits on studying time so make sure that you do not exceed the studying time up from the schedule right because if you are exceeding that then other activities are going to be impacted say for example sleep if you're extending your study hours uh, for one or two hours and then you're cutting down on your sleep time then that's going to have effect on you especially the next day will not be as productive as you had imagined it to be right and take breaks in between to relax and to recharge right because taking breaks is going to make you refreshed make you rejuvenated and then you can start your next section very productively than an extended hours of study and then you know uh, not grasping everything that you have studied so instead of that take uh, you know staggered sessions and take a short breaks in between as well next activities outside of exam preparation right so apart from your studies do uh, you know inculcate the habit of pursuing your hobbies as well uh, it could be sports it could be art music dance whatever whatever you're interested in or even cooking right whatever is your stress burster take you know take some time out and then pursue these activities as well after the importance of balance, the seventh point that I wanted to talk to you about is seeking support, right? So this journey is not going to be, uh, you know, a alone journey of you. It has to be a journey of you along with your support group as well. So the support group is nothing but friends, family, professional and experts, right? If at all you're facing any mental stress or mental trauma, then go ahead and take counseling or therapy. You know, uh, talk to your friends and family about what you're going through and how can you tackle it. Or if you want an expert opinion, go for a counseling and get your mental health in place before you start with your preparation right so that is the first point second is you can join a support group or you can seek guidance from a mentor or a tutor right and biotechnica is the place that you go for you know to get support in terms of experts and professionals if at all you are you don't know where to start and then you know you don't know how you're going to go ahead with your preparation and uh, you know you need some support from the experts then biotechnica is your one-stop solution the drona batch has been started so do call on the number or check out the link in the description box below and enroll yourself for the drona batch after seeking support, so even after, uh, you know, seeking support and, uh, you know, even after doing your best, you're not able to, uh, you know, uh, you know, give that exam and then succeed in the examination then and you you are not any more excited to give the examination then you can also pursue any alternate paths to success as well because this is not the only examination that you know decides your future or your career you can have alternate paths and that can lead you to success as well right you can explore other options and how do you do this is by analyzing your strength and your interests right see what you're interested in what are your strengths and how can you combine uh, both of these to succeed in life so you can take other paths as well if at all you don't feel excited about csir net anymore otherwise 
take uh, you know take the plunge and uh, you know prepare for the examination and do not give up until you succeed right so that's all i have for you today so we have seen almost eight topics we have seen what is the dark reality of csar net that's never talked about and how can you avoid this dark side of csar net right i'm sure this was super helpful for all the aspirants out there thank you so much and see you all until next video